Once upon a time, in the land of Titania, there lived two princesses who loved to play together in the Black Forest. One day, while walking through the woods, they came across a most mysterious sight. It was a cake growing out of the ground. Enticed by the frosting-covered wonder, the princesses could not resist a quick taste, followed by a bite and then a whole slice. In the blink of an eye, the princesses were overwhelmed by the intense yumminess. I'm overwhelmed by the intense awesomeness of that narration. And the storyline. It's not easy to find comedic action games that can pull it off. Both the humor and the gameplay. Fat Princess does both. We have captured an outpost. There's a couple different varieties of gameplay here in Fat Princess, but the one that really stands out is the glorified version of Capture the Flag, where you have to make your princess fatter, so she's harder to carry away and steal. We have captured an outpost. And you make her gain weight by feeding her cake. Which looks delicious, actually. This game always makes me hungry for cheesecake. Fat Princess is almost like a cartoony version of Warhawk. Although you can play a single-player game, this is really meant for multiplayer. But just to get started, or if you don't have any friends to play with yet, or if your internet connection is on fire, you can just play by yourself. But you don't get the benefit of teamwork when you just play by yourself. You really need some other people to work with. But I'm playing single-player here. This is like a real-time strategy game or castle defense game mixed with an old-school arcade game. You have a little cartoony guy and you run around, you have a couple different character classes to choose from. We have captured an outpost. You can hold your shield up in defense, you can attack people with your sword or bow and arrow or magic. And note that my teammate is running away carrying the princess. She's not too fat there, I guess I did not have a chance to feed her much cake, because I was slaughtering them. When you're low on health, you sit down in the ground and after a while he will start eating cake to replenish his health, which works in real life too. To capture the outposts, which you need to win, you stand near them until they turn the same color as your team. We have captured an outpost. If you've played games like Star Wars Battlefront or Warhawk, you'll dive right into this one and understand it. It's very similar, even if it looks completely different. Technically, I love this game. I think the art design is brilliant. It's funny and violent and well-made all at the same time. When your character does get blown up, lit on fire, torched, or slaughtered, you then go back to your home base, where you choose your character class from those machines. We have captured an outpost. Yeah, seriously, how can you resist this game? And it's so well made. This is available for download from the PlayStation Network. It's worth every penny. It's got some depth to the gameplay as well. It's not just a run around button mashing hack and slash kind of action game, although it can be if you play it that way. Many of the characters have weapons that you can charge for more power by holding down the attack button, which leaves you vulnerable for a little bit. And the mage or the priest, I forget what they're called, if you, if you run around with one character, they will actually heal you by locking onto you. They're like the medics. There's a potion that you can pick up and throw at enemies, turning them into a group of chickens. And even more. Fat, fat princess is one to remember. We have the prisoner! There's a couple different environments to play on. This one is my favorite. It reminds me of one of the old Wily E. Coyote Roadrunner episodes. And so extremely well done in this game. This looks amazing in high definition. Yeah. 
There's also a character that you can use and run around and cut down trees or whatever, and use them to upgrade your character classes. After you play for a while, you will find there's a surprising amount of depth to the gameplay, more so than it feels like there would be at first. And of course, as you would expect, there's Fat Princess Soccer. This could easily be its own game. This is one of those games where I wish there were more people playing online. I think everybody in the world just plays Halo 3 and Call of Duty. On the evenings and weekends, you'll find some games that you can jump into. Preferably, you'll have some friends who are playing this game as well. In the single player mode, you can also select levels and the type of gameplay. And the computer does make a worthy opponent. You get a laugh, you get some fun gameplay, and you can tell people you're playing Fat Princess. And they'll look at you like you're crazy, but you can inform them that Fat Princess has a great personality. The enemy have captured an outpost. 